Would you look at that? You're finally awake. I was beginning to think my man had hit you on the head too hard. Now, now. No need to get jumpy. So far, you're perfectly fine. But that can change. Very quickly. Got it? Good. See, you might recognise my phrase from the council meeting a few moons ago. But even if you don't, it doesn't really matter. As much as I would consider myself to be memorable, not everyone has taste. And either way, it's not important. Because right now, you, my love, are leverage. That's right. Looks like you're finally beginning to grasp the situation. You can thank your father for it, really. That treacherous bastard thought he could get around his end of the deal. So now, this is his final warning. You may call it petty revenge, but I simply call it returning the favour. That doesn't mean I'm obligated to keep you alive, though. Your death would serve as a nice little reminder as to who he's messing with. My generosity is the only reason you're still breathing. So if I were you, I'd behave. Good hostages live longer, love. Take it to the heart. And again, nobody said you wouldn't get hurt. I may be good-looking, but don't be fooled, love. I'm the devil in disguise. I've hurt people for far less. I wouldn't stop at a pretty face like yours. In the end, they all bleed the same, love. You'd be lucky to survive your stay here. Many before you didn't. See, my father isn't really a good man, so he has no shortage of enemies, and neither do I. Can you imagine how many traitors I have to deal with? How many people think betraying me is acceptable? Under different circumstances, we pay them a visit personally, and refrain from pulling others into it. But this time was a bit different. You see, your father declared war on us. And taking him would have been so much more difficult than taking you. He also has enough men to replace him and go through with the plan instead. So next best solution. Take something he can't replace and go on without. His favourite child. And the heir to the throne. Oh, it's quite obvious you're his favourite. You're intelligent, brave, and quite the looker, frankly. He always speaks so highly of you whenever your name is mentioned. I'm not even sure whether you have siblings at all. That's how focused he is on you. You must be real special, love. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to find out for myself what you're capable of. Wouldn't it be such a shame if this were the end of your story? The two of us could still have a lot of fun. If you play your cards right, that is. Meaning, you don't act up. And you behave. As a royal descendant, I am safe to assume you know how to do that. It's upsetting how many peasants don't. But you're better than that, aren't you? Otherwise, I'll have to force your respect. And you surely won't enjoy that, love. But now, with the formalities out of the way... I do plan on being at least 
somewhat of a decent host. You are free to move around within my quarters, but don't even think about escaping. I have guards stationed at every possible exit of this room, and the windows have bars, as you can clearly tell. Don't try to butt up any of the guards or servants here either. All of them have been tested on their loyalty and know not to mess with us. After having to clean up remains of other traitors, most of them have learned to stay in line. If you so much as attempt to befriend anyone here, I will serve their head to you on a platter. Love. So tread carefully. We wouldn't want anyone having to suffer because of you, now would we? Well then, love. Make yourself at home. If you're nice and quiet, maybe we'll even serve you lunch later. You must be starving after all this trouble. It's not every day you get kidnapped by guards of a rivaling kingdom to prevent an unnecessary war. I may be a vile creature, but even I do not condone that kind of savagery. Torture is one thing, but such irrelevant brutality is simply boring. Pain is like a sword, love. If you use it strategically, it can slice through enemies and leave the survivors trembling in terror. On the other hand, simply swinging it around with brute force, you end up either barely leaving a scratch on your opponent's armour, or in a bloodbath. Both of which entirely fail the purpose of such a finely crafted weapon. Handling a sword is a form of art, too. It's a carefully choreographed dance, and so is manipulation and punishment love. You always have to decide which step you take next to get your desired outcome. What would be too little, what would be too much, it's a fine balance between respect and revolution. But you wouldn't know such things, would you? You aren't a true leader yet. You simply let your father do as he pleases. You don't even seem as though you care about politics at all. Even at the conference, you barely interacted with anyone. You didn't meet my gaze once throughout the entirety of it. It's a shame, really. If you'd been more open, perhaps the two of us could have become allies, and it wouldn't have come this far. Two kindred souls overshadowed by their terrible fathers. We might have been a good pair. But now, it's too late for that. You had your chance, and you decided to let it pass. Just another pretty face to be forgotten within an instant. With me, the two of us could have left a lasting impression on this forsaken world. I know I still will. <laughs> oh, how cute! Did you believe that? You should have seen the look on your face. How pathetic to think I would want to share with you. Go cry about it. <laughs> your life will be a waste of time and space, just as your father's. To me, you will merely be an inconvenience. The both of you. Oh, wow. Well. Too bad for you now, love. I'll be looking forward to your madness unfolding as you spend the next weeks isolated, only with me to keep you company whenever I please. Mm. Try not to get too excited. It's my job to torture you, after all. Be that mentally or physically. I'll have my fun either way. But enough for now. 
I'll have more than enough time to enjoy your delightful facial expressions later. And trust me, I'll be getting everything out of you. Once I actually try. <laughs> oh.